What's going on guys? We are live with some Centipede on the Dreamcast. This is one of many, many remakes and variations of the classic 1981 video game Centipede. And yeah, this is the Dreamcast version. There are actually two ways you can play Centipede on the Dreamcast. There's also the Atari Anniversary, Anniversary Edition uh, game that you can get for the Dreamcast compilation, a bunch of Atari games, Centipede being one of them. You can also play the classic centipede on this version of the game as well, so two ways to play the classic centipede. Uh, but we're going to play the remake, because the remake's obviously better, because it's 3D and it's new. Well, it was new in 1998 anyway. <laughs> uh, but this game also came out on the PS1 and the PC as well. This would be a port of the PC version, because it's based on Windows CE, so, so yeah. Anyway, I haven't played a whole lot of this. I have played a bit, and uh, when I played, it, it seems pretty fun. So, we're probably going to get a bit farther in this than I've ever gone in this game before. So, uh, I'll give, my, give you my opinion later on it. <laughs> anyway, let's start a new game. There are 171 free blocks on my VMU. New game. Uh, I guess we'll go with medium difficulty. That sounds good to me. When the word came down, the religion had come to there is a storyline. <laughs> hey, look, my fancy ship. But we needed a hero to fly. That's me. I'm the hero. <laughs> this year, the magic stick didn't point to the usual Don't let hero. looks deceive you. I may have giant glasses and hardly be able to see. But I'm definitely the hero they're looking for. But when you're asked to save the world, you I have no idea what's going on here. This wizard and a couple old guys broke into my house, kidnapped me, and threw me into the ship. <laughs> so apparently now I'm, I'm supposed to save Earth from these armored insects, giant armored insects that have come up from the core of the Earth, apparently. So uh, my goals are to rescue we people and defend houses. Hint, your shooter is equipped with an automatic magic relocator to help you rescue your brethren. Just bump into them with the shooter and they'll be teleported to safety. Sweet deal. So I got my fancy little ship here, it's all sparkly. For whatever reason. I don't, I don't have fire shooting out of the back of my ship, I have sparkles. So that's nice. Hello to everyone in the chat by the way, which is just Stadium Marts at the, at the moment. Hello, Stadium Arts. Yes, you have to have a story. It's all part of the modern video game. Obviously, the, the original was sorely lacking in the story department, so... Actually, I shouldn't say that. There, there may very well be a story in the manual for the original game. I don't know. Hello, Maddie. Lurk away. Alright, so, I think you have a couple different attacks in this game. This is the basic one, which is the A button. Shoot these green laser thingies. For whatever reason, anytime you kill a centipede, or kill the round of centipedes, I don't know. <laughs> All the mushrooms change color? Yeah, I, I don't know. Don't ask. <laughs> You're always here, even in spirit. I appreciate it, Stadium Arts. I missed the start. Was this on Sega Smash Pack or Standalone? This is the Standalone Centipede game. The remake from 1998. This is also on Atari Anniversary Edition as well. There is no Centipede on Smash Pack. You can go into first-person mode. Actually, you can jump as well. Uh, there is a first-person perspective. I'm not sure how you change views. Oh, okay, with the D-pad. Yeah, so you can do first-person. Centipede is now a first-person shooter. I am dying a lot. I don't think I really care too much for the first-person perspective. I think I'd rather have the overhead. This is a bit of a handicap, because I can't really see past these mushrooms. 
So yeah, we're, we're gonna switch back to overhead view. Man, kill that one head. There we go. Hello, Milos. Ready for set to be 2077 in three hours. Every time I look at the chat, I die. When the word... I can't look away for two seconds. You killed me, Stadium Arts. How dare you? Oh, I'm not supposed to kill the people. <laughs> I'm supposed to rescue them. So, I could just run into them, I guess? I hope I'm actually rescuing them and not just running them over. <laughs> it's pretty much one hit death in this, which corresponds with the original centipede. I'm gonna try and concentrate a bit more on the game. See if I can actually get past level one in this stream. That would be nice. Oh, I was gonna try the other buttons for different attacks as well. Okay, maybe you can't do different attacks. I think there are power-ups in the game. We have to collect them. Oh yeah, you can strafe as well, with the trigger buttons. Forgot about that. That's actually quite handy. I'm not sure what the flashing mushrooms do. Oh, they drop power-ups, okay. There we go, see, got a spread shot. I believe the power-ups just last a, a limited amount of time. I'm trying to kill that frog, because I know that frog is gonna sneak up on me and kill me later. No idea why there are so many mushrooms here. As soon as you kill one, another one pops up. Actually, I think the centipede turns into mushrooms. Which is a bit odd. I don't think that's how it works. That's a, yeah. Exactly. You kill a centipede and they turn into a mushroom. That's science, kids. Wait, you stupid spider. I can't hit the spider in the legs. I have to hit it in the body, or it won't die. Hello, Jared. Oh, that's it. Okay. I can go across the bridge now. Yeah, this game with the classic centipede as well. If for whatever reason you wanted to play the old one. <laughs> Grab that, whatever that is. I hate those frogs, they're very unpredictable. I guess the spiders are pretty much just as unpredictable. The frogs are faster, though. I want that. I don't know what it is, but I'll take it. Oh, I think it's a shield. Some sort of shield. Spider before it kills me. 
Ooh, power up. I want that. Spread shot. Nice. G give me spread shot. Stop. Why does the power up have to move around? It's a good thing I had a shield. Frog almost killed me. into the frog. I was going for that power up up there, but it's gone now. Okay, it's not even a centipede anymore. It's just a bunch of centipede heads. Very fast centipede heads. Uh-oh, they're destroying the houses. I'm supposed to be protecting this village. Man. Things are not going very well. Frogs are way too fast. It's almost like they teleport around. Like, by the, by the time you see them, you're already dead. Okay, I'm gonna get the spread shot. Turn around. This should help. Come on, die. Finally. Some villagers may die. <laughs> okay, I think I, I beat this level. Sweet. Moving on. I saved all of those villagers. Sweet. In four buildings. Well, not everyone and everything survived, but... You know, it's it's acceptable. Acceptable losses. You know, this is war after all. You're gonna have some losses. Alright, Crack of Doom. Our Ravine outpost has been surrounded by the centipedes, forcing some of our people to flee the outpost in terror. Fly in and wrench that Reading is difficult. Fly in and rescue as many of your brethren as possible, dispensing with the centipedes and their minions in short order. Hint, watch the skies for a new winged adversary. You should find some special weaponry located near the outpost, which you can use to eliminate the fiery flying f not fiery, fierce flying foe. Wonderful. Hello, Buzzy. I like bringing the original centipede via Atari Anniversary Edition on the Dreamcast back in the day. Yeah, it's in this as well. So you have two possible ways to play the classic centipede. Okay, that is the new fierce flying foe. I'm just going to avoid him for now. Hopefully he won't, uh be killing civilians behind me. I need to concentrate on the centipede. I have, oh, come on, I backed up into a spider. Really? I need some sort of close proximity alarm when the spiders and frogs get too close to me. I never see them. They always just sneak up on me and I'm, I'm dead. Stay away from me. Ooh, power up. I want that. I don't know if there are any other power ups. So far, I have only gotten the spread shot. I assume there must be more. I have gotten the shield thing too, but I don't know if that counts as a power up. I got it from that tree stump. As far as the power ups that I get from the mushrooms, I've only seen a spread shot so far. I'm just trying to get rid of the spider. There we go. Go across the bridge. Wait, am I going the wrong way? No, okay. Wasn't sure if I was going backwards or not.
be a lot easier if it wasn't for all these mushrooms everywhere. Backed up into a spider again. Wait, what was that? Oh, I picked up a... What is that, a missile? And I was killed again. Well, I guess I'm not going to figure out what that mus missile did. Not now, anyway. get it without dying. Oh, I didn't mean to fall down here. Um, okay, I don't know what to do when you fall down into the... Oh, can I go up this thing? Oh, okay, I see. I gotta go on the leaf. I'm, get, I'm totally gonna die. Jeez. I couldn't get back on the land because that stupid centipede head is right there. I'm gonna die as soon as I jump on the land. Yep, see? Man. Well, I'm gonna do that level over again. Is the game locked at 60 frames per second? I'm pretty sure it's 30. Pretty sure. Power up before I die. Wait, what was that? That was not a spread shot. I don't know what I picked up. Oh! Oh, that's pretty sweet. Until I die. Yeah, that's, uh, that's a nice power up. Although it does require you to get fairly close to the enemy, so it's a bit risky. Quick work of that one. Okay, I picked up that thing again, and I died. You know what? I don't think I like that power-up that much. <laughs> I like to keep my distance. I don't like to get that close. there too. Ah, there we go. I have a missile, I believe. That's kind of lame. I thought the missile would have more oomph than that. Actually, I wonder if I'm supposed to use the missiles on that flying guy. Well, I gotta start over again. Man. I'm not very good at this game. I like when they get trapped in the corner. Makes them easy to take down. See, the centipede is fairly easy to kill. It's the minions that give me the most problem. 
Without its bodyguards, the centipede would be practically putty in my hands. <laughs> Stupid spider snuck up behind me again. There we go. Bit of a risk. Try it anyway. There's a spread shot there, too. I don't like being this close. Way too many minions. Okay. Yeah, so the power-ups in this are timed. It's not a limited number of shots. It's a certain amount of time that you have the power-ups for. I like how they incorporated some of the sound effects from the original game into the music. It's kind of cool. See that spider behind me. <laughs> no! It's trying desperately to avoid the spider, and of course, what is that? I don't know what the acorn is. Oh, one of these missile things. At some point, I picked up an extra life, apparently, because I was out of lives. And I backed up into a spider again. <laughs> oh man, I have a feeling I should have picked the easy mode. Either this game is very difficult or I really suck at it. It's probably the latter. <laughs> Power up, we power up. There we go. I wish this spread shot actually had more shots than just three. I mean, three's nice, but I would have preferred five or six. Oh man. Especially considering the power ups don't last very long. happens every time. I'm trying to avoid one of the minions, and I back up into another one. Hey John! Backed up into a spider again. I think that is the majority of my deaths so far backing up into a spider. I don't know why it happens so often, but it does.
All right, I'm determined. I'm going to beat this level if it kills me. And it will probably kill me many, many more times. Actually doing pretty well. That was a flawless victory. Stay away, frog. I hate you. I'd say the music in this game is quite good. It's very upbeat. Upbeat techno soundtrack. Really makes you want to kill centipedes. And spiders. And frogs. Aww, the power-up disappeared. I have not died once so far. I don't I don't want to jinx it though. <laughs> Spiders are so hard to hit. They're tiny. And they move around like nothing. Just get two more two more hits. Man, I was trying to get the power up. Unbelievable. Firing at him like crazy, but I can't kill him. Can't hit him, I should say. Are you kidding me? That thing jumped on me out of nowhere. I am so tired of this stage. All right, I'll grab that. Why? Unbelievable. I was doing perfectly up until about a minute ago. And then it's just Death City after that. Come on, I just want to finish this stage. Just want to finish the stage. Okay, well, at least I get to go, go across the bridge now. Oh, jeez. Did that again. Go up, please. Go up, please. Why is this thing not going up? Um. Hello? Oh, do I have to go up on this one? And I got killed. Killed by a spider in the cavern. Unbelievable. Hello, dude hack. I am doing wonderful. I would be doing wonderful if it wasn't for all the stupid spiders and frogs in this game. <laughs> Centipede refuses to fight me mano a mano. Just bring his minions along. His very, very annoying minions. want the missile. It sucks. <laughs> I, I believe you're supposed to use it against the flying guy, but it's pointless against the centipede. I, 
backed up into a death mushroom. I swear, everything wants to kill you in this game. Everything. just going right through my barrage of fire. I need a better fire rate. That's what I need. Well, I'm out of lives again. I'm not sure what I'm supposed to do to get lives. I don't know if I'd get a new life after a certain amount of points, maybe? Because I know I've earned lives somehow, previously. Just not sure how. Man! I am never, ever going to finish this level. Never gonna happen. This entire live stream is gonna be mission two. Backed up into something. I don't even know what those things are, those blue things. They usually come from off screen and then just instantly kill me. You do get quite a few points for killing the minions. So if it is points that I need to get more lives, maybe I should try and kill more of them. I usually try and just ignore them. Let them run past me. Although that doesn't always work out, because as frequently happens, I back up into them and I die. They're just so hard to hit, though. thing came out of nowhere. Oh, man. Backed up into a spider. Oh, man. Uh, I wonder if I can go back and change the difficulty. Or if they uh, don't let you do that now. I'm guessing not. Yeah, I guess I have to start a new game if I want to change the difficulty. Alright, I can do this. I can do this.
man. I'm sure you're saying very exciting things over there, Stadium Arts, but this game does not allow me to look at the chat without dying, so I'm trying to concentrate here. Alright, that part's over. deal with an overdrawn handling charge on my phone with my bank. Agent and I were going on about cyberpunk. You guys can't see it, but I have my game face on now. <laughs> Until I back up into a mushroom. <sighs> okay. That's the way you want to play it, huh, game? That's the way you want to play it. kill this game. I'm going to kill it. Does that count as a win if I, uh, if I smash the game disc with a hammer? <laughs> uh, okay. Alright, this time is it. This is it. I think the key with this game is you have to be aware of your surroundings at all times. If you're not paying attention, a spider is going to sneak up on you, you're going to back up into a death mushroom, killed by something that leaps on you from outside the screen. Although that last one you really can't do anything about. But sometimes you just basically suicide. I'm curious what easy mode actually does. Does it just give you more lives? Does it actually let you take more hits than just one? I might find out. <laughs> if I uh, if I die again, I may just start over and do easy mode instead.
Alright, this has to be the final round. It has to be. Oh, come on. Come on, just give me a break, game. Give me a break. I don't want the missile. Where is spread shot? Ah. <laughs> All right, that's it. I'm starting a new game. I'm doing easy because this game is not giving me any breaks. <laughs> Apparently, my video game skill level is not adequate enough for medium difficulty in this game. Okay, it gives me four lives right off the bat. That might be all it does, I don't know. Exactly the same otherwise. I'll tell you, this game gives you a first-person perspective to use, but that would be practically impossible. Because you literally can't see anything behind you. Ooh, that was close. I think the power-ups may actually last a bit longer in easy mode. It might be just my imagination, but it seems like it. Backed up into a spider again. <laughs> oh, yay, yay. Doesn't matter what difficulty mode I select, backing up into a spider is deadly every time. Stage one complete. Take that thing. I don't know what it does. Oh, it gives me an extra life, I think. Okay, that's handy. It's possible easy mode may have less enemies on the screen as well. I don't know. Scraping can help avoid enemies as well, but enemies are just so fast. I keep killing the civilians. <laughs> At this point, I really don't care. It's all about my survival. I don't care about them. This is a fight for my survival. Go. Is that the final one? Nope, there's another one. Ooh, spread shot, spread shot. Yes! That's what I'm talking about. Oh, I think that was it. Grab the shield, which isn't going to do me any good at this point anyway. Why is the bridge not open? Where am I going? This way? Oh, okay. Alright, well, at least level one went by pretty quickly. <laughs> hey, I saved all of the buildings this time. I murdered three of the civilians, but oh well. <laughs> three of the villagers. The wee people, as it calls them. But hey, it's their own fault. They got in my way. Ooh, I have eight lives. 
I wonder if it gives you lives depending on how many buildings and civilians you save. Or villagers. Ah! Once you get in that guy's path, you're pretty much dead. Again, strafing might have worked there, had I actually thought of it. I tend not to think of these things in the heat of the moment. All I'm thinking about is my impending death. Sometimes I just cannot hit anything. Yeah, strafing works with that guy. Alright, I should be able to do this. I have seven lives. This should not be a problem. I'm not that bad at video games. <laughs> Yeah, I think this is identical to the medium mode as far as the enemies and everything are concerned. It's just that they give you more lives. They just give you extra credits. Mushrooms. Oh, shoot. Fell down here again. Oh, this is fantastic. Bunch of spiders coming after me. Can we not do that? Can you not toss a bunch of spiders down in the pit with me? Really appreciate it. Ah, oh, it is so hard to get out. This is gonna screw me over, isn't it? gonna die as soon as I jump out. Okay, okay, I managed it, and I backed up into a spider. Just my luck. How did I know that would happen? And I backed up into whatever that was. Enemies in this game rarely hit me. I hit the enemies, that's the problem. So many enemies! Rescue you, I guess. Alright, give me a spread shot, please. Or that. That's fine. That runs out really quickly. Come on, I just want a couple more. A couple more. Come on, just one more. There we go. Is there another one? Or is that it? Ooh. I don't think I've made it this far. How do I get that? Can I go up here? Oh, let me rescue you. Try and get this thing. There we go. Shield that thing. I have a shield now, that's nice. 
shield and five lives. I can't possibly screw this up. <laughs> Come on. Sorry about the uh, distorted music in the background. Dream Shell CDDA emulation can be a bit buggy sometimes. It's fine for a while, it just kind of gets distorted after playing for too long. The average player would be done with this level by now. Wait, is that it? Ooh, did I actually do it? Where's the end? Rescue you. I think I actually beat this level. I just need to find the exit. Where's the exit? Oh, right there, right in the middle. Don't you dare kill me. Actually, you can't kill me, because I have a shield. Finally! I finally beat that level. Jeez. Had to, had to resort to easy mode, but I did it. <laughs> oh, hey, Hunter. Famous last words, yeah. Fortunately, they worked my famous last words. Ah, uh, the Centipede Army has added a new friend to its ranks. Oh, wonderful. I am so looking forward to this. An insect who can drill through anything, including the gates to our cities. Some of these fearsome insects have been spotted near our city in the mountains. Defend the city and land near it from the Centipede onslaught. But stay watchful for this new adversary. Hint, the fleas and centipedes always seem to attack downward from the same location while the spiders and scorpions assault from the sides, always keep in mind where the insects are coming from, and you'll fare much better against them. I'll try. Yeah, so I really want to try and rescue the villagers rather than killing them. <laughs> They will give me lives at the end of the level. If I actually make it to the end of the level, of course. Actually, I think they do give you lives immediately. As soon as you rescue them. But they also determine how many lives you get at the beginning of the next level as well, I believe. Yeah, see, that gave me a life. Oh, by the way, Hunter, it's maximum pool tonight. I'll expect you to be there. I think I actually might be getting better at this game. seen that new type of enemy that they mentioned yet.
Well, that was quick. Cleared out that section quite hastily. What is this? It's a gate. Um, okay. Oh, hello! <laughs> the gate was a distraction, so the centipede could sneak up behind me. I just killed the villager. Whoops. Whoops, I didn't mean it. Don't get in my way and, and you won't die. Oh, is that the new enemy? That thing that just hit me? It looked like a spear. Oh, that thing. Oh. Oh, jeez. That's a lot of enemies. What the heck? And there's a centipede. How am I supposed to deal with all these guys at the same time? That's ridiculous. Alright, is that it? That's it for the centipede, at least. Wow, that, that was quick. I actually beat that level on the first attempt. I think the majority of the village was destroyed. Oh yeah. I only rescued three out of eleven buildings. Well, whatever. I don't care. Like I said, it's all about my survival. I don't really care about them. If they should survive the onslaught, then good for them. <laughs> but, but you know, it's, you know, there's no skin off my back. Our beloved City of Wall. City of Wall. It's a great name for a city, I guess. <laughs> is facing the threat of the Dread Borer Bug, with whom you've just become acquainted. Oh, wonderful. More of those things? Unfortunately, the insects are attacking the city from all sides, so you'll need to keep, your, keep on your toes. Mind the rivers which can incapacitate the shooter. Hint. Notice the mystic pointers planted at the rivers around the city. We druids have created these magic devices which point in the direction of the centipede's next attack. Okay, sounds good. I'm glad I'm at least getting a bit farther into the game now. <laughs> Instead of just repeating mission two over and over and over again. What's that? I got a thing. I don't know what it does, but I got it. Alright, I think that's it for the centipede. Which I guess I'm supposed to go onto one of these platform things? And I went right into the river. I meant to jump. It just didn't work out. Oh, come on, I have to kill the centipede again? Actually get across. Oh, there's another centipede. Okay. <laughs> Maybe I just didn't wait long enough last time. There actually was another centipede. I don't really know. Man, these spiders are so hard to hit. Okay, I think that's it for the centipedes, so... Guess I'm going this way? Oh yeah, I see a centipede over there. Actually, can I hit him from here? No. No such luck. Yeah, I think when I die, it automatically transports me to where I need to be. That's what happened last time.
A hey, spread shot. Nice. Definitely the best power up. Ooh, shield. Want that. Give me shield. How do I get the shield? It's kind of hard to get to. Oh, I got it. There we go. Rescue the civilian. Up here, rescue this guy. I'm supposed to go this way. There we go. There goes my shield. Hello again, Milos. Oh, you can go through the village to get to the different areas. You don't actually have to go on those platforms in the river. That's a lot less risky of an option. <laughs> okay, and then I uh, follow the arrow. Follow the arrow! I got the spread shot. Stupid frog has to kill me. Okay, next attack is coming from this away. What happened? Oh, I get killed by the stupid drill bit thing. Well, I don't care about the village, so... I'm just gonna concentrate on the centipede. If anything else wants to go in the village, that's perfectly fine with me. Hey, there we go. Another level completes. Oh wow, I saved the entire village somehow. Okay. Only saved two of the civilians, but... That's fine. I'm fine with that. Mission 5, Aunt May. The vile centipedes have invaded our most holy territory, where we keep the sacred star crystals. The crystals are used by the wee druids to study the dreaded eclipse, which awakens the centipedes every century. Be watchful for a new fierce insect who may be able to drain the precious crystals of their energy. Defend and rescue druids. Defend star crystals. Hint the druids will try to help you battle the bugs with their limited magical abilities, but once their power runs out, you'll need to transport them to safety with your automatic magic relocator. Okay, well... I think they're they're on their own. <laughs> I have enough to worry about without having to worry about rescuing druids. Notice the music in the game hasn't actually changed since the first level. It's always the same track, which is kind of disappointing. I did say at the beginning the music was kind of good, but it could use more variety. 
Okay, where are the centipedes? Did he get stuck there? I think he was stuck. I guess I should l be looking at the map. Yeah, the map shows me where everything is. Ow. I actually think I'm doing a fairly decent job of rescuing the druids this time. So when you die in the game, it doesn't actually reset the entire stage, it just resets the centipede that you're currently battling. I hate that purple thing that keeps catapulting things at me. <laughs> so annoying. It still hit me! It was dead! Man. I was doing well up until this point. Now I just keep getting killed by that stupid purple thing. Alright, this is power up. Okay, that thing's always nice. Wow! I almost killed that entire centipede. I do quite like that power-up. Although kind of risky. Oh, you're a big guy. You are a big guy. I wonder how much health he has. I don't know if his health resets when I die. That would really suck if it did. I don't know if I can defeat him without, uh, without dying. I think he resets every time I die. How am I supposed to avoid all of that? Man. Well, I got the stage, uh, what was that, stage five? So that's not too bad. That's not too bad. Was that actually the final stage? If that was a final stage, this is a uh, pretty short game. Well, anyway, I'm not going to do all that over again, so... Although I could s just try stage 5 again, but let's let's do the, uh, the classic mode. Let's do that for a little bit. I have not played a whole lot of the original Centipede. Yeah, the spiders aren't quite as annoying <laughs> in the original game. They're a bit more predictable. In 
and easier to keep track of. Ugh. They're still pretty quick, though. I'm not gonna get this thing before it reaches the bottom. <laughs> Wow, that spider actually gets faster. He's pretty quick now. What is that thing? I knew I'd get cornered there. Well, I died pretty quickly in the original. <laughs> so I'd say they uh, they carried over the difficulty of the game pretty well from the original to this remake. Aw, oh, man. Oh man. Still backing up into spiders even in the classic game. Ah, so difficult once they get down to the bottom. That was stupid. I gotta say, the sound effect for the spider is actually quite annoying. <laughs> and I'm dead. Ugh. 
They really should have an option to turn spiders off in the settings. <laughs> that would have been a great feature. Hello, Shinji. Am I going to try the Atomus Wave games anytime soon? I've played tons of Atomus Wave games. I've done three live streams of them. You can go and check them out if you want. You're a bit late for those. <laughs> I've done three live streams and I've also done a few videos on them. Man! Oh, I hate those spiders so much. I don't even hate the centipede. I just hate the spider. The spider is the main villain of this game. Despite the game being called Centipede. Cannot do it when they reach the bottom of the screen. Just can't do it. See? Can't do it. It's gonna be my final attempt here. I seem to be getting worse at this version of the game, rather than better. Come on, one more! Couldn't get one more. It is so satisfying killing that spider just to stop that annoying sound effect. <laughs> well, I guess that's going to be it. Well, you know what? I'll try one more. I just want to make it a little bit farther. It'd be nice. Definitely my last attempt, though. Oh, that was close. I think this is the, actually the farthest I've made it so far. Going for the world record attempt here, folks. Oh, was not expecting him to come down here that quickly. Sneaky centipede. One more. Come on. Wait, where'd, where'd that one come from? Thank you. 
Well, despite what happens from here on out, I am happy with this run. <laughs> Backed up into a spider. I have no idea what that thing is that keeps crawling across the screen. Kind of looks like Medusa. Well, world record right there, folks. It has to be. I, I doubt anyone in the world has ever made it farther than that. <laughs> well, yeah, uh, I think uh, one conclusion I can draw from today's live stream is that I'm not very good at Centipede. Either the original or the remake. So yeah, this is actually a pretty good remake though. Uh, I can't say I have any complaints about it really. It is quite difficult, but it is difficult like the original, so it's in line with the difficulty from the original 1981 game. But yeah, it's, it's pretty good, and uh, you got first person mode, which is actually pretty useless because it's definitely not the way to play the game. You're handicapping yourself big time, unless uh, you're going for a challenge, you know, since you can't see anything behind you or really on the side of you when you're in first person mode. But hey, if you've ever wanted to play Centipede as a first person shooter, this game is for you. <laughs> but yeah, it's actually a pretty decent remake. So if uh, you like Centipede, I'd recommend checking this out. But uh, anyway, guys, that is going to be it for this live stream. So uh, thanks for hanging out. Thanks for watching. I will be back on Friday as usual for some Worms World Party, so look forward to that. But thanks for watching, guys, and I'll see you next time.